Welcome to Cute eLearning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the hydrofluoric acid corrosion, HF corrosion. Description of damage. Corrosion by water containing dilute hydrofluoric acid can result in high rates of general or localized corrosion and may be accompanied by hydrogen cracking, blistering, and or hydrogen-induced cracking, stress-oriented hydrogen-induced cracking. In refining, it is associated with hydrofluoric acid alkylation units. As illustrated in figure, Example of hydrofluoric corrosion. At a manway in hydrofluoric acid storage service. Affected materials. Carbon steel, copper nickel alloys, alloy 400. Low alloy steels, 300 series and 400 series stainless steel are susceptible to corrosion and or cracking and are generally not suitable for hydrofluoric service nickel based alloys such as alloy c276 have been used in some applications critical factors hydrofluoric acid concentration water content temperature, alloy composition, and the presence of contaminants, including oxygen and sulfur compounds, are the controlling factors. Carbon steel forms a protective fluoride scale in dry, anhydrous, fresh HF which enables a very low general corrosion rate in anhydrous hydrofluoric rich hydrofluoric when subject to a phase change vaporization and condensation can cause significant localized corrosion of carbon steel because the phase changing rich HF reaches a very corrosive azeotropic concentration note that azeotrope is a constant boiling temperature mixture of liquids water content which if operated at 1.5 weight percent in acid can increase the general corrosion rates and higher temperatures which can increase the general corrosion rates As shown in figures, corrosion rates increase with increasing temperature and decreasing hydrofluoric concentration, increasing water content. Affected units or equipment. Piping and equipment in the HF alkylation unit. Flare piping and downstream units. Exposed to acid carryover are also affected. Trace HF circuits can experience very high corrosion rates. Most equipment is made from carbon steel. High corrosion rates have been observed in piping and equipment operating above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Dead legs including inlets to relieve valves, as well as small bore vents and drains, and the acid relief header. Flange faces particularly in rich hydrofluoric phase change locations. 
dissimilar metal welds between alloy 400 and carbon steel in any acid service heat exchanger bundles that condense rich hydrofluoric containing streams heat exchanger bundles that heat rich hydrofluoric containing streams appearance or morphology of damage Corrosion is in the form of General corrosion in fresh hydrofluoric and rich hydrofluoric Localized corrosion of welds in rich hydrofluoric Localized corrosion in phase change rich hydrofluoric Localized corrosion in entrained rich hydrofluoric General and localized corrosion of alloy 400 in hot rear unregenerator service. Localized corrosion in dead legs in entrained rich hydrofluoric or fluoride defluorination services. Localized corrosion in dilute hydrofluoric and localized corrosion in the acid relief header and acid relief neutralizer. as illustrated in figures examples of hydrofluoric acid corrosion as illustrated in figures corrosion may be accompanied by cracking due to hydrogen stress cracking blistering and or hydrogen induced cracking stress oriented hydrogen induced cracking damage prevention mitigation carbon steel operating above 150 degrees Fahrenheit should be closely monitored for loss in thickness and may need to be upgraded to alloy 400 post weld heat treatment of carbon steel can reduce the problems associated with stress oriented hydrogen induced cracking as well as minimizing accelerated preferential corrosion in the heat affected zone of welds Alloy 400, solid or clad, can be used to eliminate the problems associated with blistering and hydrogen-induced cracking, stress-oriented hydrogen-induced cracking, inspection and monitoring. UT can be used to monitor for corrosion loss. Profile RT can be used to monitor for thickness loss. PAUT can be used to perform in situ crevice corrosion monitoring on flange faces. Permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors can be used. Special emphasis programs to monitor residual element corrosion. Small bore piping, mix point, dead leg, and flange face corrosion, as well as blistering and hydrogen induced cracking, stress oriented hydrogen induced cracking, are outlined in API 75. Related mechanisms. Hydrogen stress cracking in hydrofluoric acid Hydrogen blistering and hydrogen induced cracking Stress oriented hydrogen induced cracking Covered in wet H2S damage Hydrofluoric acid stress corrosion cracking of nickel alloys And a similar metal weld cracking 
Hydrogen-induced cracking. Stress-oriented hydrogen-induced cracking. Summary Description Corrosion by hydrofluoric acid can result in high rates of general or localized corrosion and may be accompanied by cracking due to hydrogen stress cracking, blistering and or hydrogen induced cracking. Stress oriented hydrogen induced cracking. Temperature range High corrosion rates have been observed in piping and equipment operating above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy Carbon steel, copper nickel alloys and low alloy steels 300 series and the 400 series stainless steel Prevention Carbon steel operating above 150 degrees Fahrenheit should be closely monitored for loss in thickness and may need to be upgraded to alloy 400. Corrosion can be prevented by careful operation of the unit to minimize water, oxygen, sulfur, and other contaminants in the feed. PWHT of carbon steel Alloy 400, solid or clad. Inspection methods. UT, profile RT, PAUT and permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors. Track and monitor residual element of carbon steel components. In accordance with API 751 guidelines. Practice time. Question number one. Beside corrosion what other damage mechanism in hydrofluoric acid service should inspector look to? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.